our Darius, uh, we're also the home of Dallas Cowboys football, as you know. We've been trying to get a safety on the Cowboys here for about 20 years. And uh, have you happened to have any contact with the Cowboys during this draft process? Uh, a little bit. Not so much. Not really, to be honest. Uh, I talked to him a lot on my pro day, and, uh, the defensive back coach. Uh, he ran through a lot of drills and everything, and uh, they kind of ran the whole little show. So I kind of uh, got a lot of feedback from them there, and that's that's time I really talked to them. Sure, that's right. So Joe Witt Jr. ran ran the pro day. So overall, how would you feel? Take us through how that pro day went. I know that was something you were probably training for leading into it. And I mean, did did you enjoy working with Joe Witt Jr.? Was there kind of an instant connection there? I definitely enjoy working with him. He definitely got uh, motivated for sure. Like he definitely. Uh, Gave me a little insight. Like when I had the first pass I dropped, he was like, just calm down, relax, you know. And then after that, it was just, it was on from there, you feel me? But he definitely was a good dude to work with. He was an energetic guy for sure. Seemed like he took his job serious. So, so I definitely enjoy working with him. So obviously you're here, uh, you're, you're in Fort Worth now. Are you, tra- are you doing your training here in Fort Worth locally or are you doing it somewhere else? Uh, Frisco. I'm doing it at Exos right now. Exos in Frisco, yes, sir. Okay, heck yeah. So, I mean, I'm I'm assuming being drafted by the Cowboys would be uh, some level of of dream come true. You get to stay local, hang out. I mean, you'd be right there in Frisco at the Star. Exactly, exactly. And then also that was my mom's favorite team growing up. So that would be definitely a blessing to play. Then it's close to home, too. So that would be definitely a good, cool thing to play for the Cowboys, for sure. No doubt. So Jeffrey Cavanaugh is uh, a draft guru that works with us here on 105.3 The Fan. I don't know if you pay attention to much of the draft stuff on Twitter, but he has been very outspoken about he believes you are the number one safety in this draft. And he wanted us to ask a question to you. And he says, if you were six foot, 200 pounds, is there any doubt that you're the best safety in the draft? And how hard do you have to sell teams that you do play that big despite your measurements? Oh man, definitely. I'm the best safety right now at five eight. You feel me? So, but definitely six two. I wouldn't even be having this conversation with you guys, no doubt. I'd be top ten pick for sure. But at five eight, def- I'm definitely the best safety now. You feel me? So, like, there's there's no question about that. But uh, how hard do I have to sell uh, teams on it? Um, pretty hard, I guess. I would say just with me being on the size, I gotta sell them pretty hard about it. But I don't really like to talk about it too much. I like my uh, my film show for itself. And then, so whoever doesn't see me as that, they will see in the next couple of years. One of the things I do love about you, though, is, is is your versatility, right? So, do you prefer if you had your choice, just playing covering in the slot where you've had a lot of success, or do you like kind of playing back in that safety spot? It doesn't matter. I want to be wherever the ball's at. So, if the ball's somewhere going to be in the box, I want to be somewhere in the box. If it's going to be over the top, I want to be over the top. So that's kind of how I always look at it. That's how I want to be used for sure. It's just wherever the ball at or where it's going to be at, that's where I want to be at for sure. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, Ardarius, would you? What, what? What's the better feeling? Is it just smacking somebody clean over the middle with a with a big hit and uh, and, and getting up and flexing on them, or is it getting that <laughs> interception? Oh man, definitely that turnover. Probably that turnover for sure because we get a, uh, opportun- the offense opportunity to go and score a touchdown and get a field goal. So definitely that turnover. Or taking it back for six. So a team player right it. there. But what was it like overall playing for the legend that is Gary Patterson? Man, it's it's a guy that always wanted perfectionist, you know. So it was kind of it was tough playing for a guy like that. But when you look at the bigger picture, it definitely was uh, a blessing in disguise for sure, man. And, uh, he always wanted to suffocate. He didn't want no one to score, no one to get in the yard. So it definitely was an honor to play for him for sure, man. Just overall, your entire career so far, we can go back to high school, college. Do you have a favorite play or memory throughout your uh, young career so far? You say high school or college? Yeah, high school or college, whichever one. Uh, definitely in college. Uh, we played against Texas. It was a homecoming game, and we were down at the, uh, at the point. Then Coach, had put, Coach P had put me in the game, and I got the uh, interception. Like, as soon as I got in the game, that was the first pick. I was the second pick of the game, but I got uh, got a pick, and then we went around and scored later on that uh, that same drive and changed the momentum of the game. So definitely that would be my favorite memory. Ooh, that's an awesome one. And then last one for you, because Jerry and the Cowboys are listening here on your home of the Cowboys, our Darius Washington TCU safety. If you could just say one thing to the Cowboys before this draft for them to come and get you, what would you tell them? I definitely tell them I'm going to make the uh, whole defensive team better. And if they want to ball hog and see it, they need to come get me. 